viewers. Hello lovely viewers, I welcome you to Omades. Please if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, then you like, then you share for others to also enjoy these tutorials. And Omade is a page created to educate the general public on how you can take a step to enter to be a graphic designer. So we'll be using many softwares but for now i'm using corel draw so for now and today the lesson that we are going to tackle is let's try and design a very simple adidas logo very simple adidas logo how you can design it so first of all i've taken my page so i take this zoom let me zoom it out so that you can see it then i take this ellipse two then i draw something like this it's very simple it's very nice logo but also simple to draw then i've draw this one then i put my hand on the control then i press down the left bottom of my mouse then i drag it to left it can be left or it can be left or it can be right wherever you want it so i drag it to left right like this then i right click to duplicate it like this so see this one circle and this also another circle and this one is a duplicate of this one so the sides are the same and here is the intersection point okay so I come here, I take a smart fill, then I click here. Okay. Then after click on pick two, then I drag this one out, I delete it. I drag this one out, I delete it. Now this is what I want. Then let me compress it small like this. Good. This is what I needed okay so let me remove the outline good now you see every shape or object that you put it that you bring it to coral draw it has a midpoint okay so this is the midpoint okay this is the midpoint where you have this sign okay this place is the midpoint good now and any object or shape that you insert it in the coral draw page when you select it you see four you see eight points that you can use to control the shape or the object okay either to increase the size or to decrease it okay good so that one if you click on once that's where you're gonna see those regulation points and if you click it again, it will bring a rotational uh, point also. Okay, it will bring this rotational signs. Okay, one, two, three, four. This four is for rotation. Okay, and this one, two, three, four is for queuing, uh, for um, SQ or for. Uh, perspective purposes okay this one two three four so let me let me put this one aside and uh, try example for you to see you see I click on the second time bring this I've told you that this sign one two three four is for rotation like this if you hold it you can rotate it okay good and this one is for perspective or skill purposes you click on you hold here you see it has given you these two arrows okay one up one down meaning you can go up or down okay that's only place you can go that's only direction you can go okay either up or down good like this you see we're gonna go and do the same thing here you see good so when you come here also 
it will give you the same sign by this time around it's being pointed to different direction okay this one too it can go here this one to either here or here okay good so note it let me delete this one so this is our original shape so like i was saying this midpoint when you click on the second time and it bring this rotational sign and this perspective sign or this skew sign it will also change the midpoint sign to circle instead of times so we click on let's this is the this is the original one you see it is time times okay when you click on it again it will bring round with a dotted sign inside and this one too you can move it to whatever you like okay this one okay so i'm moving it down here yeah, let me move it let me move it down here good after because these signs are there i drag it here by pressing the left bottom of my mouse when i get here then i right click to duplicate it i think if you check on my videos i've already show you how to use the mouse to copy an object at Corel draw good so I drag it to this side a bit then I reduce it a bit okay good something like this good something like that good it's a bit closer must fall within this line then you click on it again then I hold this place I put my hand on the control then I drag it to the left side also okay then I put my hand on the control then I drag it with the mouse the reason why I put my hand on the control is I want to maintain the same position okay I want it to fall within the same line example I, I i can i can drag it there but it might not fall on the line you see it has overlapped the line so in order to maintain the same distance the same position you have to put your hand on the control key on the keyboard so i've copied it my hand is on the control then I'm dragging with the mouse okay good close like this good now I hope you enjoyed the tutorial here remains on my days please if today be the first time you are visiting the channel kindly subscribe for more tutorials should be a bit closer like this good after I take this rectangle too then I draw something like this okay then I fill it white I remove the outline then I drag it again to duplicate it. Then I press my hand on the control. Then I press D. That is duplicate it with the same distance. Okay. Let me bring it to down a bit. Something like this. Good. I think it's. it's, it's, it's okay right now it's a bit closer let me let me delete it put my on the control i copy 
I duplicate it like this. Good, good. This one is far better. Then, let me pull it up a bit. After I put my hand on this one, I select all this one by putting my hand on a shift. I click on this one. Then I click on this one. So this three is selected. One, two, three is selected together. Then I weld it together. Good. You see, it has been weld together. So undo. Now I copy all these ones too. Then I weld all also together. Good. You can see that one also. Good. I go to undo. Then. I've selected this one. Then I put my hand on shift and select this one also together. Then I trim. Okay. Trim is to cut. So if you want to cut something, you first select the object that you're cutting to before you select the object you want to cut. Okay. Good. So now I've cut it and I've deleted it. So you see, and I hope everyone I've not done yet, but you know where I'm getting to. Okay, good. And the color is always times black. Yeah, always I think black. Now let's write the brand's name that is uh, D. That's and the Adidas. As a special font or typeface this one is not bad but if you check adidas this is not the e for adidas for d and the i is okay but i think it's uh let me check this font as a designer at least you have to keep some fonts in your mind okay so um i think got thick oh sorry we select the font then you come here this is where the name of the font appears gothic gothic i press enter no gothic let me go there and see this century gothic yeah but let me check another gothic go thick let me scroll down and see if I'll see a different gothic. I'll see a different gothic. Gothic bold. Oh. But for Adidas, this what do you call it? This font is okay, but the I, the I is not round. Okay, the I is square. The I is square. So, and even the S is also differ. But for the S, I can change it. Or just for tutorial purposes, I can leave all. Okay, I can leave it. I can leave all. Let me increase it a bit just for tutorial purposes. Right, for this I, I can just delete this one, the dot, and make it square. So we have to convert it to curves like this. And I take this one, I draw this. Okay, I feel it like I show you. I want to use this one to cut this one. So I've already selected this one and I select this one together. I go to trim. Okay, I've cut this one. Then let me use this one. The same thing that I drew for the dot. Okay, like this. Take this. And I feel it. Good. Then for the S2, for the S2, 
I can work on it like this. I've already converted into curve, so I can work on it with the help of shape to go. Can drag it here like this. Okay, and this is how it is. Then here, this is a big curve. Then I do this one too. I hold here, I bring it here, then I will glitch it bit. is it then I want to delete all this ruler or this guideline so you select one you come to edit come to edit come to select all guidelines you see it has highlighted it then you delete you press delete all is gone now it has R here so I take my test then I write R okay then I put it in a circle like this I increase the outline a bit let me do it outside and bring it here it should be in the middle like this I can bold it okay Something like this. No. I select all together and I put it here. I think it's exactly somewhere here. P. Let me stretch it a bit. So viewers, let me zoom it full screen for you to see. So this is it. So viewers, that is the Adidas symbol. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have any comment, kindly drop it under the comment section. And please subscribe for more tutorials. Thank you for your time and enjoy this video. Bye-bye.